Hi, ready? Yeah! Oh well, I missed a spot. But every subscriber is a new achievement anyway. Two million subscribers! Thank you everyone! I have to properly celebrate it without killing myself like last time. What I like to do is to change my one Tesla Tesla coil and hook up a microphone to it so I can output my voice over the arcs. In a horrible sounding way, I suppose. This requires a bunch of probing and design. And so thanks to Keysight, I'll celebrate by giving away 10 of these babies. <laughs> I've had these for over two years. Ow! 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 It's okay, these are just fingers. Are you okay? And truly, these scopes are the best scopes in their class I've ever had in my life. And if you follow this link, it will take you to a special free ebook, which is a great and quick read for anyone who uses scopes or might use them in the future, or if you just want to feel smarter than your neighbor. And just for clarity, when I say I give these 10 scopes away, that's true. All these 10 scopes, like all the other tools I've ever given away, are mine. I have enjoyed promoting for Keysight because I really believe in their product. And I always chose to be paid in nothing but scopes, so I could give them away. It is the easiest way for me to thank the community for bringing me up where I am. Especially my patrons at patreon.com whose support made me the free man I am. <laughs> thank you everyone. Now let's just jump into it. I have made two videos before showing how this thing works. It sends out 10 to 50 microsecond wide pulses of around 300 kilohertz super high voltage AC. Sending out pulses more often changes its sound. Now let's measure and see how each pulse feels. Feels like somebody's slapping me hard every second. Imagine if I change the frequency to 1 kilohertz, I'll be slapped a thousand times a second. Pretty painful and damaging, so be careful. Because it outputs pulses, the sound will be pretty digital sounding and saturated. So before making the change, let's see if my saturated voice is any good. I will record my sound a bit. Hello, hello, 1, 2, 3. And here is how it sounds. Hello, hello, 1, 2, 3. Now I will amplify it a lot to saturate it. And here's how it sounds. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's still understandable. So project is a go. Fortunately, they have the schematic of the interrupter on their website. This is what sends those turn on commands to the tower through an optical fiber. And it seems the signal is coming from one pin of a microcontroller. So all we need to do is to pull out that controller and stick our circuit in. Well, we don't need most of the circuit. We don't need the display or the controller. All we need is this laser optical transmitter and the batteries. Now, if you remember, when I was trying to make a wireless lavalier, I made an amplifier for my microphone. So I'm going to use that and add more circuit to it. Well, before completely dismantling the circuit, let's see what kind of pulses we should be making. <laughs> Well, we should definitely disconnect the tower. Now, if we measure the output of the microcontroller, we see that it's making 4 volt pulses around 14 microseconds and up to a bit over 50 microseconds. So here's the plan. This is the amplifier I made before and I feed its output into a comparator circuit with variable threshold so I can adjust the sensitivity. This will change the voice signals into square waves which I'll feed through an RC circuit with a time constant of below 30 microseconds so I can limit my pulse widths below 30 microseconds. Then I'll clean this up through another comparator and use these pulses to drive the laser optical transmitter. Hopefully it'll sound good. Okay. It's done. But before hooking it up to the circuit, let me probe different stages of the circuit to show you how the signal is processed through different <laughs> stages. <laughs> okay, now the circuit is working. Here you see the sine wave input and this is when it passed through the comparator becomes saturated and then through the RC circuit becomes a short pulse and cleaned up through the last comparator. I have the complete circuit in my website if you're interested. Okay, everything is hooked up and ready to go. Hello? Ah! Wow! Well, the laptop screen was jumping around too. I think it's a little bit too sensitive. I have to adjust it. Hello? 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 Do you hear me? Hello? One, two, three, four. Sit on the laptop. 
you but a lie. This is more the love I feel inside. Hello, hello. Maybe I'm sitting too close. Let me go a little bit back so the audio feedback doesn't get into the microphone. Do you hear me? Oh jeez. The output of the tower is quite noisy and staticky. <laughs> staticky. But if I don't run the tower, ooh, see my pulses are quite clean. But if I run the tower, see the pulses are quite noisy. It's either the audio feedback from the tower or just the radiations from it that are messing with my circuit. So let's try a few things. First, I'm gonna put the tower on a grounded sheet of aluminum foil to absorb some of the radiations and see if that helps. <laughs> Sounds a little bit better, but it might still be the other ah, Anyway, let me get further away from the tower so that the audio feedback doesn't get to the microphone. Let's reduce the pulse width closer to 10 microseconds to reduce the output power of the tower. Hopefully it will reduce the interference. Okay, let's give it a try. Doesn't sound any better, but it definitely looks like when I get closer to it, it becomes messier. Maybe it is interference. I'm gonna put this thing in a plastic bag and then wrap it in grounded aluminum foil. There we go, a transmitter sandwich, okay? I don't think it's getting much better. Let me just get out of this room and close the door. I don't know man, it feels like it's designed to handle only death metal. If it is good for death metal, then it's good for me and it's a success. <laughs> hey, I just changed the electric microphone and now it sounds a bit better, see? I don't know, maybe the component of the microphone was more sensitive to interference. Now do you think I can hold a knife and bring it close and don't get shocked by it? Let's try. <laughs> burn my skin. When it was jumping to the knife, it was fine, but as soon as it jumped to my skin, it burned. Is this unhealthy? Smash right on my video. When you hold a big piece of metal, the arcs, instead of going through a point and shock and burn you, go through a bigger surface area into your body and you don't feel them. Doesn't mean that they are not unhealthy, so let's not do it. Okay, now I have to set a new goal. While PewDiePie is battling T-Series, let me battle with the closest YouTuber. Ah yeah, my buddy Bobby Duke, the artist. He's not far ahead, we can get him. He makes fantastic sculptures and is just great with... Am I sending him new subscribers? Come on guys, we have to beat him. And make sure to subscribe to Keysight Labs YouTube channel. It's a test gear focused YouTube channel that doesn't suck. And if you like podcasts on technology trends from an engineer's perspective, watch Keysight's Double E's Tuck Tech Podcast on Keysight Podcast channel or Double E's Tuck Tech What kind of name is that? And let those juicy scopes flow in. Give away time! Thank you again for being with me all this time.
Two of the 10 scopes go to two schools along with some other tools they might need thanks to the support of my patrons. If your school needs stuff, sign it up from the link in description. And the other eight will be spread between my viewers and patrons. You can sign up from the link in the description or as you know, my patrons are always in the draw. Next stop, 10 million subscribers!